Hey y'all, good to see you on Grassroots Gardening. As always, we've got a beautiful day today and I'm really excited to show you guys this. So we, um, you know, we hung up the swarm trap a few, let's see, about a week ago, I believe it was, maybe a little bit longer. We hung the swarm trap up and within no time we had caught a wild honeybee swarm. And so we let them stay in the, uh, that location in that tree for about a week. And now, uh, last night I went over and closed up the little door on the hive, climbed up on top of the golf cart, had my bee suit on just in case. Uh, they weren't very aggressive. There weren't like any guards, you know, waiting to attack me. So probably didn't even need the suit. But anyway, got up there, closed the little door on it, uh, climbed up on the golf cart, grabbed it, brought it around here. And then in the video, I'll show you, uh, I had to build a kind of a, a dam or a wall in front of the interceptor hive trap. And I did that because the uh, inventor of the uh, uh, interceptor actually reached out to me, was super nice, and uh, I was just kind of curious of how to relocate them, how to go about that process. And he said to build this little wall in front of the hive trap and place the hive trap in front of the actual hive body that we're gonna put them in. And the reason we're doing this is to re is it reorientate, reorient, well, you know what I'm trying to say. We have to reprogram their little uh, bug brains, their little GPS. Um, uh, you know, all honeybees have the ability to um, home or find their, uh, you know, their hive. So they have to go up, they'll fly up and circle, and they're mapping the whole area so that they can, after foraging, they can, of course, return to the hive. So I'll show you guys real quick. I'll kind of walk over here and try not to disturb them too much. It's about... About noon time, it was a little chilly this morning, it was about 40 degrees, so it didn't have a lot of activity when I came out here early to put the camera up just to kind of see what I could capture. But here's the, the setup. So this will be the hive that they're going to go into uh, in two days. So we're going to let them stay just as is for two days. And so as they come out of their hole um, from the hive trap, they're going to see that wall and they're going to say, hey, something ain't right. This is not where... Uh, I was when I went to sleep and so then they'll fly up do their reorientation flight learn them you know map their whole their new home location out and then they can return to this spot uh, every single time so in two days I'm going to take the frames out and we've got five frames in the hive trap we're going to take the frames out add some additional frames to these two hive bodies and I'm going to do two hive bodies because I want them to feel like they have a lot of space. I don't want them to feel cramped. I'm afraid that it might make them, you know, swarm again and try to find another larger home. Now I will say this, I've only been bee beekeeping for a little bit of time, just a few years now. I've lost a lot of colonies and so I'm just learning. So, um, you know, the other thing I love about this YouTube channel is I get a lot of advice and help from you guys who have more experience than me. So if you think that this is an okay idea let me know in the comments below or if you think we should have done it differently i'd love to hear your your thoughts but that's kind of my thought process is just to have them two deep hive bodies so they have plenty of room and uh, i think it's a pretty strong swarm i haven't seen exactly how many bees we got yet but we're going to find out here in just uh just about two days okay we've got them flying all around us now so i don't think i'm going to push my luck since i don't have my suit on so uh, I think we're just gonna just gonna let them be. But appreciate you guys watching this video. If you find this kind of stuff interesting, hit that like and subscribe and the little notifications bell down there, and it'll let you know whenever we put out a next video. And so um, again, about two days, we're gonna move them over, and I'll video that guy that for you guys and put it here on the channel. Other than that, the more you know, the more you grow. We'll see you on the next video.